Hey there, everybody. Good Monday morning to you. My name is Tom. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. And today, in fact, all this week, we're going to talk about being stuck and how to get unstuck. Today, how to grow a business even when you feel stuck. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to the show. My name is Tom. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. Go ahead and grab your cup of coffee. We're going to be around for 7-ish minutes or so. We'll see how long that takes. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. When you get here, do me a favor. Do what Catherine's done already. She's gotten ahead of everybody else. Left a comment, said hi. Hello. Actually, she said good morning, but uh, you can say hi, hello, good morning. Whatever sounds good to you sounds great to me. All right. This week, uh, I kind of got on a tear over the weekend preparing for this week. And uh, so this week, we're going to talk about being stuck. And look, this manifests itself in a lot of different ways, and it comes from a lot of different places. And being stuck... um, Look, being stuck, there is nothing wrong with being stuck. The problem comes from choosing to stay there. We're actually going to talk more about that uh, tomorrow. But but to the point, being stuck can manifest itself in lots of different ways. Most often in my work, working with business owners and leaders, I see that manifest as no matter what I do, I just can't grow the business anymore. I can't make it, uh, I can't make it bigger. I can't add more customers. I can't create new revenue. No matter what I do, it all stays the same. And so when that happens, then we can get really frustrated, right? Remember frustration is a function of expectation. We have set an expectation that the business is going to be able to grow and do something for us. And this is the the first thing. So uh, three action steps that I want you to, I want to give you today to help you get past being stuck. The very first one is just to articulate what you expect the business to do. I mean, as simple as that sounds, a lot of people have not taken that step yet. Right. And it, look, it doesn't matter whether this is a, a side gig, a full time thing, or you've got 200 people working for you. If you don't understand what the business is supposed to do for you personally, then how can you make decisions for the business that help you get there? I mean, the only possible strategy that can occur. <laughs> oh, Jeff. So the only possible strategy that can occur at that point is a hope strategy. Well, I'm going to do all these things and hope that this outcome comes around. So number one thing, what do you want the business to do for you? Right. While you guys are thinking about that, good morning to uh, Jeff and Mark. Good to see both of you here this morning. All right. Number two. So be, be honest no, in, in all of these, you have to be honest. If if you're not honest with yourself, there's nothing that I or anybody else can do to help you get there, right? So honestly assess what you want the business to do for you. And if you want it just to pay the car payment, great. If you want it to make you a millionaire, great. Doesn't matter. Whatever you want it to do, you have to be able to articulate that so that you can use those Use that outcome as a decision-making filter. All right, number two, you have to honestly assess what you are doing every day. Again, nothing wrong with this, but this is something that we slip into. As human beings, we have things that we're comfortable doing and we have things that we are uncomfortable doing. Very often when we get into a business, we have to do more things that are uncomfortable. And look, I mean, they're uncomfortable because we're not practiced with them. I right? got a it's great story and even better picture that I tell about my brother-in-law's nephew. 
joined the army, learned how to jump out of planes. Now he's a professional skydiver. He's got this picture where he has this lady strapped to him. He's one of those tandem jump guys. And he's just kind of, you know, hanging out, chilling, whatever. And she's terrified. They're doing exactly the same thing, but their experience is very different. Right? So when we are, when our experience is lacking in a particular area and therefore it's uncomfortable for us. What do we do? We tend to retreat into the things that we know best. Let's say you've started an engineering company, right? You're an engineer, start an engineering company. I don't know about all this sales stuff. I'll do that tomorrow. I'm going to work on this problem today, right? So number one, be honest about what you want the business to do. Number two, be honest about what you're doing every day. Right? Just this is just an inventory at this point. The hard part comes next. This is just an inventory. What are the things you're doing every day? And then number three, you have to cut out those things that are not getting you there. And that's the hard part. Sometimes cutting it out means stopping altogether. Right? I don't need to let's I don't know, let's take a really popular one. <laughs> just we'll just jump in the deep end of the pool. Let's say you've been going to this networking group for years and have gotten zero business from it. No value. There's, and business not the only value you get from networking, I understand. But there's no value coming out of that group. Maybe you should not go. Just putting that out there. Right? You have to prune those things that are not getting you toward that outcome, that, that result, what you want the business to do for you. Right Now, sometimes pruning means delegating. And here's another hard part. Right, Once you delegate it, you have to let them do it. Right or wrong, it's their project to do. To sink or swim on. This is how you build leaders in your business. Right, you, you figure out who's going to figure it out and who's not. And you, you do that by not rescuing them. If you, if you delegate a task and say report back to the group next week, when, uh, to let us know your progress and they come in, there's no progress. <coughs> Don't give them an out. Well, we're disappointed with the lack of progress right? Delegate, let them do it. All right. So those are your three things. Honestly assess what you want the business to do for you. Honestly assess what you're doing every day and then ruthlessly prune away the things that are not moving you toward that outcome. That will create movement. Just by, just the fact of pruning something, take a library, for example, if all the shelves are full, my, my all of my shelves are full and I've got books stacked up on the floor over here. If all the shelves are full, there's no room for more books right? You have to take some of those old books out to be able to put new books in. When you take, take out the things that are not moving you toward your result, guess what? Now you have room to add things. And when you add things, you begin to make movement and movement toward a goal, movement toward an outcome. That's called progress. Look it up. Progress, movement toward a goal. So, Jeff, you're a funny guy. You, Catherine says you prefer staying comfortable in your uncomfort rather than stepping into your unknown. The, yes, the problem is the fear of the unknown is greater than the pain of the present. When the pain of the present exceeds the fear of the unknown, then we will take that step. That's why a lot of people, you know, we hear in, in a lot of different contexts talk about this rock bottom. Got to get to your rock bottom. Well, that's where the pain of the present exceeds the fear of the unknown. Taught my sons how to help in the garden. And then I had to learn to let them do it their way. That's hard, isn't it? I mean, it's really difficult when you know what needs to be done, but you have delegated that to somebody else. It's really difficult to let them go and know that they're taking the long way around or maybe that the outcome's not going to turn out exactly right. But if you want to build a better team member, you got to let them do it. Oh, 
that's tough. As long as it, you know, as long as there's no permanent damage from letting them do it, let them do it. All right, that's it for today. What is the outcome that you're trying to get to? What do you want the business to do for you? What are you doing every day? And then prune ruthlessly those things that are not working for you. I'm going to ask you a favor, if you will allow me. Somebody in your network needs to hear this message this week about being stuck. I want you to think of who do you know that's stuck. Sometimes that manifests as not being able to take any time off over the holidays. Sometimes it manifests as working seven days a week. Sometimes everything looks peachy on the outside. So don't try to judge the book by the cover. You know those people and they know you know them. Who do you know that needs to hear this message that might be stuck, needs to get unstuck? Go ahead and click the share button underneath this video or audio, depending on where you're watching or listening. Share it with that person or if you're feeling particularly generous today, share it with your whole network. That would be awesome as well. And don't forget, if you personally got value today, heart stars, thumbs up, likes, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. Thank you so much for being here today. Have a great Monday, and uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. We're going to keep talking about being unstuck. Tomorrow is about you know, being stuck versus choosing to stay where you are. You don't want to miss that one either. So I'll see you then. Till then, have a great Monday. Take care. Buttons? Why do I not have buttons? There they go. Hey, look, and it's not too late to go ahead and leave your comment and say good morning. I mean, I, I can see how many of you are out there. Maybe may have to come hunt you down. I'll do that. You guys have a great Monday.